His legacy will forever now be stitched in stone on DVD as Arrow, the eighth and final season, has arrived on DVD as well as Arrow, the complete series, was also available on DVD and Blu-ray. So you can now binge the entire series of Arrow in the comfort of your own home without paying for a streaming service. What's going on everyone? This is Joe here from ActionX. Welcome to a DVD unboxing. It's been a long time since I did one of these because with everything going on and I just don't feel as comfortable anymore to go to a um, Target and pick up my DVDs. So when it comes to getting DVD unboxings or getting anything sort of done related to DVDs, it, it takes a while. Um, but Arrow came out um, with its eighth and final season on DVD already because the season already wrapped back in January so it was already time for an early release compared to the other shows which are still not coming out this fall but thankfully Arrow's last season has came and now at least for me I have all eight seasons on DVD so here's the final season um DVD I'm just double checking the camera because I, I think I focused this on a good level so I don't have to always pop back and forth um this was the poster obviously for season eight when it was just beginning back in October um I thought it was okay I felt like the this definitely fit the theme of the season where it was um the whole final legacy of Oliver Queen as the Green Arrow as well as him saying goodbye to everyone he's ever known on his journey which did include the flashbacks um, journey as well as the eight years that he has been the Green Arrow for or at least has been um, Star City's um, hero of sorts and I, 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 I like the poster I, I don't really have I, had, I didn't really have an issue with it I kind of was expecting something different but it's fine it, for what it for what it was trying to set out this season it was fine um the back, what is the true cost of being a hero? This does, this does include all 10 episodes of the crossover, um, no, all 10 episodes of the season. Um, I realized when I was buying this is that only the Blu-ray um, edition has the special bonus disc, which comes with all the episodes of the crossover, which for me personally, I was not I was never like, that was like a defining factor for me because I'm going to buy um, every single Arrowverse season or Arrowverse series on DVD, so it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I was going to see the crossover again somehow if I wanted to. Um, for, and I know it would have been very annoying to like pop in five separate discs just to watch each hour of the crossover, but you know what? That's the cost of what you get for being a DVD collector. Um, well, at least that's for me. Let's look at the inside. It's a sleeve. Um, I've said this before. I love sleeves. Um, it's, the, it's the same exact thing. Um, just... The disc, all conveniently green, conveniently labeled, a little sheet, it used to be like a booklet because it used to be 22 episodes, 23 episodes, you're going back to the earlier seasons of Arrow, so that kind of worked out for, for that, just to save some space, save some paper, and be a little bit more convenient, I did not close that correctly. So now that the whole series is done, it, it's crazy to say that because, well, before I actually get to my thoughts on the series, I do have um, two minor comments before I actually talk about this. So the way I formatted this shot, um, yes, I did cover Arrow Season 4's face because my, um, I tried to like get all of like Stephen Amell's face facing the camera, and then I completely covered Season 4. Um, it was a the way the poster for season four was just doesn't work and B, I don't like season four at all. So it kind of works out and it was, um, it was justifiable and why, um, that had to be covered. And also the, my other mid nitpick is that I'm going to probably ruin the shot here, but I'm so mad that Arrow season three, for some reason, I'm not sure if this was on the other Arrowverse seasons for that year, i.e. just the flash. I'm so mad that they completely forgot to put the, in this, so it's like, Arrow, complete third season. Next season, the complete fourth season. Like, come on. Have some consistency there. Or maybe I just bought, like, a reprint or something. I really don't know. Anyway, so, back to the whole series. Um, Arrow season, the Arrow, sh the Arrow series has been a very interesting journey for me. It was the very first show I binge-watched on Netflix. And when I say binge watch, I, 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 technically that was Daredevil. I meant in terms of, like, a show that I never had access to before, that I heard so much things about, and that I was really curious on watching. And I, a friend of mine was over, and we we just watched the first full season together when um, 
they were sleeping over, and it was awesome. It was a really, the first season was so good, and I really got hooked on it. And then season two started along, and I heard everything, all the stories about how season two was the best season. I still think, yeah, it is the best season thus far. I think seven, eight, and five come close, in my opinion. But um, two was very, very, very fascinating. Three was when things started to dip a little bit. I guess the attention on The Flash really kind of bol bolstered error a little bit. Um, or it could just be because they just didn't... I don't know, really. I can't really say. I haven't watched Arrow Season 3 in forever. Um, season 4 was bad. It, it just was a, a, ch a massive chore to get through. I think I may have enjoyed more of it in the moment, but then more as I look back on that season, it just did not... It didn't hold up well. It did not hold up well. I still think Oliver Queen's costume was the best in that season, and I'll give, it, I'll give him points there. But, oof, that season was not, was not what it was. Season 5 definitely bounced back. And return to form a little bit, go, going back to the grounded effort as well as focus on at least the first attempt at focusing on Oliver's Queen's legacy thus far. Season 6 kind of stumbled a little bit, but it, it still was a decent season. 7 was really good. And 8, I haven't talked about 8 ever because season eight is, was is a very weird thing. It kind of stands out as it doesn't really fit in the overall See, I, I feel like season one through seven were the story of Oliver Queen, and season eight is more like the epilogue. As the more, I, I understand that yes, season eight is technically the finale to Oliver Queen's story, but I just feel like that season eight definitely is a little bit different of sorts. Because yes, this was meant to be a Crisis of Infinite Earth setup season, where they they were introducing elements and character and things to set up for that big crossover. So. Uh, it kind of felt like what MCU was doing with certain movies by setting up Infinity Stones. As well as, yeah, they, they are making the characters work in their own way regarding without having that factor in it. But it still very much was dominated by the fact that this is going to set up for something bigger down the road. And I'm not going to say Arrow Season 8 suffered a little bit because of the whole setup element. You know, having the monitor there. You know, definitely not being the same show as you... You tend to be, and similar to how the MCU kind of adopted the whole, you gotta at least watch at least something before, and not e not every installment is going to be a great entry point for you anymore. You need to have some sort of knowledge of the other shows and at least the crossovers. Season eight definitely set up on the fact you had to watch the Elseworlds crossover to even understand what season eight is talking about. I think they did a decent job trying to explain that in the show itself, especially in season eight, what they're fighting for, what what the stakes are. I understand that and I get that, but it just I don't know, it's kind of weird per se. Now, I've heard, I've seen podcast interviews with some of the actors about the crossovers, and yeah, it can get a little narrowing that you have to factor this in and into the overall story and getting certain elements in place and allowing everything to be connected, but sometimes you sometimes get suffered in your own storytelling to, to allow for a larger appeal. So with that being said, uh, I still enjoyed the crossover. I feel like the crossover was well worth the wait, well worth the execution. But the, but for me personally, I think season eight. I mean, I would love to say it is my best, the fav the best season because um, it's only ten episodes. So you think that you're reducing the focus, but there's just still a lot to focus on because you still have to focus on Oliver Queen trying to help everything out in the in the upcoming crisis as well. Uh, you have to get the, all the future storyline stuff in order and. Obviously, they, they have to set up for this potential spinoff, which could, may or may not happen. I, I really don't know. I don't know what the word is on that. And as well as end off the whole series. So there's a lot of juggling to do. And I feel like they did a pretty good job at doing it. I don't think it was the perfect job. And yeah, that was, that's pretty much my thoughts. Um, but overall, I did enjoy Arrow from start to finish. Um, I definitely do think the second half is more... Of a, you gotta watch everything to understand, to really comprehend everything. And thankfully for me, that that's a perfect example of me because I watch all the shows. I watch Flash, Supergirl, Bad Woman, Legends. I will watch Superman and Lois when that comes out. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep watching everything, so I don't feel bothered by the fact that oh they make a reference or they have to rely on stuff from this show or this crossover to make sense for this season. I'm totally fine with that, but I do understand that. Yeah, not everyone was. A lot of people left the Arrow ship like after season five. That totally makes sense. That's totally understandable. But I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I just still enjoy I enjoy the show for what it is. I respect the, um, the amount of work that the showrunners, the writers, the cast, the crew has put into this show. Because this show, 
launch a whole series of, you know, franchises and also a shared multiverse. And that's still going forward to this day. There's, there's no sign of stopping. Even the coronavirus isn't really stopping the efforts of the Arrowverse. And how long will this franchise go? I hope forever. I really hope. I really hope this doesn't die. But, you know, still, the, the foundation that Arrow had to set up to make all of this happen... Regardless of some of the dips in the storytelling, I think it was all worth it at the end of the day. And I highly recommend for anyone who is also stuck in um, lockdown to, uh, to binge it. It's 170 episodes. I mean, to be fair, with everything going on, I, I think everyone could have the time to spare to watch the whole series. And, you know, then the supplemental content of the other shows. But, okay, well, I'm getting a little bit too far into my weeds. Yeah, but that was Arrow Season 8 and the whole series. And I'm going to miss it. I'm really going to miss it. It's going to be weird... Because I've been seeing Arrow on my television for at least five years, so it's gonna—it's a little bittersweet that next that this time next year there won't be a new Arrow episode um, to watch. But that's the cost of being a hero. Sometimes you got, your show's gonna end eventually. All right, I think that's gonna do it for me, guys. So if you were wondering, Arrow season eight and the complete series are available at Target. You can only get it at Target because from what my um, what Alan told me his. Um, Best Buys are currently not operational, so if you want to physically pick this up, you'll have to go to a Target. When you are conveniently there for your essential shopping, please do not go there just for Arrow Season 8. You can wait on this for a while, um, or ship it to you if that's your preferred method. And, yeah, I highly suggest buying it. Arrow's The Complete 8 Season is available for sale for $20, and I believe The Complete Series is around the 150 zone, 180, I, I don't remember. I mean, I have all these, so uh, I think Grant told I may have spent, like, maybe 30, 30, 40, 50. I may have spent, like, in Grant total for the whole series, like, 90 bucks, 100 if you're including tab, but I'm pretty sure they already um, inflated the cost, so... Oh well, go enjoy. It's also on Netflix if you guys want to check it out too. If you want to just pay the eleven dollars a month and then you know just watch the whole series. But there you go. Anyway, guys, once again, this was Joe from Action X. I hope you enjoyed this DVD unboxing. If you want to see more DVD unboxings, whenever we're able to post them, even during this time period, um, subscribe to us. Um, like, favor, share this video if you want to. Follow us on social media and also ring the bell for notification when we have a new video live. And I'll see you guys um, next time. But as well as. As a side note, I have another show called What's in the Two where I do more in-depth um, talks about um, TV show. Arrow's on the list for some point in the near future. Not anytime soon, but it'll probably pop up at some point in the near future. Alright guys, that's going to do it for me. Peace out guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.